In this video we are going to take a look at this Minolta X700 35mm film SLR camera equipped with the Minolta 50mm f1.7 MD lens and it is the type that has the locking minimum aperture which is used with the program mode on this camera. So uh, I thought we would just go ahead and start uh, testing it out and there's a battery in it and I've got it on here and uh, you can see the shutters operating and what I thought I'd do is just uh, back the lens off and then step down through the shutter speed so I'm going to take it back to 1 1,000th here 1 500th 1 250th 1 1 25th 1 60th, 1 30th, 1 15th, 1 8th, 1 quarter second, 1 half second, 1 full second, and the bulb setting where it stays open as long as I hold it. And then we run this back up. Let's test out the self timer as well. Here we see it blinking, and it'll start to blink faster, and then there it goes, and it completed the cycle. So self-timer is working. If we take a look at this lens, very nice smooth focus, typical of these Minolta lenses. And we're going to unlock the aperture ring, you can see nice clicks on that. And if we look through the blades, I don't see oil on them, and they're nice and snappy. Looking through this lens carefully with a bright light behind did reveal some internal dust and specks and some uh, light haze, it looked like. So it's not perfect, but uh, it should take good pictures. And uh, we can see that, it's, uh, that it looks pretty good. But if you look really closely with a bright light, you will see some... Uh, contamination in there. So we're going to mount it back on here and we're just going to verify a few more things. Let's set it at a, a small aperture. Here's the stop down preview. You can see that that's working. And let's uh, set it at a long shutter speed. You can see the blade stop down properly during operation. If I were to set this on automatic and uh, let's see, there we saw that. If I block off some light, much longer exposure. So you can see the metering is, uh, is, is working here. Set this at F8, much faster. If I block off this light, longer exposure, shorter. So the metering is working. This one has a uh, setting for an audible sound here. So if I'm going to pick a setting that looks like it would be too hard to handhold still enough. Yep, and then it beeps. It'll let you take the picture anyway, but uh, it gives you that warning. You don't have to have that. Over here is for exposure compensation. We can see that it can be locked in at the different spots. We'll center it up there. Here's for setting the ISO or ASA value as we used to call it. And that goes from 25 up to 1600. We'll set it at 200 as a typical place. Looking around the back, it looks quite nice. Um, one thing to note here is that the uh, strap has this little shutter blind that slides on the back here and that is for use when you have the camera on a tripod and you've composed your picture and you've stepped away from the camera and your eye is not right up against there this will ensure that stray light doesn't enter the back and affect the meter reading so you can take your picture with that on 
and it's always just strung there on the case. There's a place here for extra set of batteries. There aren't any in there, but it's a place to stow some. Nice Minolta strap and the rubber is still pliable, so that's nice. Let's open up the camera, look inside. Um, the wind crank looks fine. The shutter looks fine. Film transport looks good. It does look kind of like the light seals are old and original, kind of turning to dust there. So it, it's a good candidate for having that done, and I would recommend that be done pretty soon. It would probably take pictures without doing it, but long term you're certainly going to want that done. and. Uh, can't be entirely sure there wouldn't be light leaks. There usually isn't, but uh, be a good idea to do that. Back closes properly. Looking at the bottom here, it's still got the protective plastic, and that's in very good condition. And it comes with the Minolta lens cap with the proper later Minolta logo that matches the camera. There is a battery in the battery compartment and it operates the camera. I'll leave it in there. I don't guarantee how long it will continue to operate it, but it does work it now. And the camera comes with this nice fitted case. And so to install that we just hook these strap lugs around and snap in place here on both sides so we can see here. These are snapped down and the strap comes out in front of that. And then the back folds up and around and over like this and snaps in two places in the back. Many of the uh, camera cases that were made a long time ago have not withstood the test of time very well. This one is actually not bad. It's uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, it's got a kind of a whitish color to it in some areas and kind of just in general. But it certainly looks like the material is, is still structurally sound and good. So it's a pretty good example of the Minolta X700 35mm SLR camera. We'll need light seals done preferably sooner than later, and uh, does have a little bit of fog and uh, debris in the lens.